All right, y'all, so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this Twisted X cowboy boot here, y'all. Here it is. Been trying these boots out for about a month now, and I wanted to make a video for y'all because I don't think there's a lot of videos out there on these boots. I did not oil them up and make them look all pretty for the video because sometimes oil will uh, hide some of some of the little details. So let's get into the video. Alrighty, so for a little bit of background, I've been wearing Ariats for several, several, several years. Probably going on four years or so now. My last pair were those flex, breathable kind on the top, and those lasted me about two years um, because I just kept oiling them and then they finally, finally bit the dust. I was like, I know those are a really good pair of boots. I could go back with them or I could try out some of this Twisted X brand boots. With this type of boot, the inside and the upper here is all leather. It's pig hide on the inside, as y'all can see there. And the rest of it is just this very beautifully made leather here. And then this is what the bottom of the boot looks like. I've been using them this morning, so sorry about that. They got big, nice white stitching around it. Now I know I might get some criticism from some round toed people because it's almost like the Android and Apple people. Um, some people love um, round toed boots. Some people hate them, you know, yada, yada, yippee skippy. And then you got the round toed people that will judge very partially with square toed people, but I'm more of a square toed guy. I don't, I really do not like round toed, but if you wear round toed, it's fine. I just always, whenever I see a round toed boot, if I'm trying them on, it's just weird. My my foot's not round at the front. Mine Mine's pretty stank square. Visually, it's very, very pleasing. The other thing too that I wanted that my Ariats weren't uh, delivering was kind of more of a more stylish boot and then the other thing too but i needed it to be workable though and i needed to be able to work in it um the other thing too is i need thin profiled boots um, we're going to get into the comfort and the feel and how they feel like here in just a second but as you can see the profile on them the thickness of of the sole is very thin okay and that was the beautiful thing about my other ariats um they were thin so that was incredible awesome they need to be thin because when you're riding horses and things like that into and getting into your stirrups, they can't be five inches thick of memory foam. So all that to say, uh, the big question is going to be, what do they feel like? How do they fit? Well, they fit pretty stinking good. Now, I've only had them for about a month now, so they're not fully broken in. So certain boots, as soon as you put them on, they're the most comfortable thing in the world. Uh, with other boots, you know, you, you put them on, it might take six months or three months to break them in. Um, it all depends on how much you wear them. I wear mine almost every day. Um, so they've been breaking in pretty good. Now, I'll show you. This is the insole that Twisted X, that comes with the Twisted X pair. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Um, but the one thing that I will say is that when you are going with a thinner boot, you always have to know that you are going to be giving up a little bit of that comfort. You know, there are those boots out there that are like the best, world's best, comfortablest boot, but they got like three or four inches of memory foam on them. I've had them before and they're really comfortable, but um, they're just big. I wanted something very low profile. So you do have to kind of give up a little bit of the comfort factor if you're wanting a more low profile boot. Um, a lot of the guys around here all wear very low profile boots like this. So this is what comes inside the boot here. Now you might be saying, why are these outside the boot? Are you just using these? Well, with my Ariats, right? They were thin soled, right? Just like these, I remember having that issue of like, man, they just need to be a, a little bit com more comfortable, right? Two years ago, I splurged and bought some of these. And sadly, they don't have the brand name on them. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna splurge and buy me a 40, I know it's crazy, $40 pair of insoles. And y'all, these have been the most amazing thing ever. Even with the two-year-old Ariat boots that looked like they were absolutely garbage on the outside, they were super, super comfortable because I had a very, 
very high quality insole, as you can see. So this is gonna show you some stuff. So factory, not factory. So already, already you can see, the of course quality. I mean, this is probably like a couple dollars and this is, you know, a lot more of course. Um, you got this gel pad right here on the heel of your foot where, you know, you'll really start feeling it if you're standing on concrete for a long time or so. Right where your foot, right where the pad of your foot is, unlike this, where it's just, it's just not a lot. It's not a whole lot. The other thing too is that, which is kind of cool. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see it, but it is beautifully manufactured on the inside there. But it's just, you're standing on straight leather. Since I'm making this video and I would recommend these boots. These boots are really, really nice. Just that might be the downside for you is if you do need us, if you are in your boots all the time, all the time, like all day long, you might need to buy yourself a nice pair of insoles for these, um, which is not the end of the world if you love the look of these. Um, I'm gonna show y'all real quick what they look like with a pair of jeans on, boot cut jeans. Um, and I don't care what anybody says, boot cut jeans is, you work in boot cut jeans, okay? Comfort level between one, barefoot is very comfortable. Um, one, I don't know, something very, very trashy, like a plastic bag or something wrapped around your foot to 10 being the most comfortable thing you've ever stepped on. Um, I would put this around a seven or so. Um, I wanna be very, I wanna be brutally honest with y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's about a seven with these insoles in there. It's not too bad if you're going out to dinner in them, uh, walking around town with them, doing a little bit of ranch work here and there with them. Um, but for everyday use, I would I would probably recommend a upgraded insole for them. I walk around barefoot all the time and my feet are pretty stank tough. Um, so if you are very, very soft footed, might just need to get an insole. So, but I'm just, I wanna be brutally honest with y'all so, with y'all so, if Twisted X is listening, maybe they are, uh, I would highly recommend, uh, because I know their boot line's pretty stank new compared to Ariat and those other ones, um, definitely work on uh, the insole, uh, upgrading the insole. These were about, uh, I got these actually on sale for like 170 bucks, $160. They're normally like 214, I think. The other thing is that they got a 13, pretty sure this is a 13 inch or 12 point whatever, uh, 13 inch upper here. And you got some holes. I don't know who in the world would use those, but got some holes up here. So I guess the, those could be for some, a little bit of ventilation, but um, I guess to grab on too. But so when you put them on, very easy to put on. The other thing that might help is that I bought these from Atwoods and they didn't have the perfect size for me. Um, I needed like a slightly uh, skinnier boot and they only had like um, a D or something. So these are slightly wider. So if you actually got these in the perfect, perfect, perfect size for you, they might be a whole different animal. When I put the sole, when I put those new insoles in there, it, it kind of cleaned up the little bit of wiggle room that I had in there. So anyway, as you can see here, hopefully you can see, they look really good. But anyway, this is the top down view of them. As you can see, I love the white stitching. I love having this big, thick edge here. It protects a lot of the, it protects the edge of your boot from getting smashed up. So if you're kicking on something, you do have a little bit of extra uh, protection there. But overall, it's a very nice boot. It's very, very nice. But you know, I just wanted to try out something new. You know, I kept wearing those Ariats. I'm like, man, I just needed to try something new because daggum. Yeah, now the thing is with 13 inch uppers, whatever they are, <laughs> close to 13 inch uppers, you do need you do need a decent size um, boot cut jean. Um, they don't need to be the biggest things in the world, but just a good non G-A-Y boot cut jean. You can go over here and watch my jean review video that I just posted if you haven't already it was very good it was Ariat versus Wrangler jeans so but I really love them when I put them on I was like how they look just from the top down I was like I can sacrifice 
a little bit of comfort for something, for a product that just looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Um, I, I really liked kind of the retro, I guess, maybe look to them because they're just a little bit more square on the top. Some people might think they're as ugly as something ugly. Um, but yeah, I think they look very, very nice. I don't think there's any reviews on these boots. Maybe they are, maybe there is. Personally, to me, the upper, it just being a very normal, uh, not too blingy or flashy or very designy type of upper is perfectly fine by me because my jeans always cover them up. I never go with the tucked in, um, tuck, tuck your jeans in your boots because I don't know, that's just very weird to me. Um, I love this little white bead. We'll see how long it lasts. This is normally the first thing to go on a boot is this little deep, uh, detail there. It's very nice because when your jean is down, you have this little white bead that's right down there. It's just a little extra character to the boot here. I just really like them. They're very nice. And I would definitely rate these with the new insoles, eight or a nine. I mean, they're pretty stank comfortable, y'all. I really think they're a good fitting boot. Um, they fit really good. They feel really good. I don't know. I've been wearing them around a lot. Are they the world's most comfortable boot? No. They're a very thin soled boot. So there you go. I have Twisted X moccasins. You can go check out that video over here. Um, I've been trying them out. Now those, those ones are really comfortable. So yeah, just trying new things out for the new year. But I really love them. I love them, love them, love them. Um, you know, for the little extra bit of nicer look to them than the Ariat. Um, the Ariats, all, all the ones that I was looking at, um, I know they do sell some higher higher uppers, of course, on some of their boots, but um, I don't know. I just really like it. I really love them, and I'm very pleased with them. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how well they hold up, you know, because I'm gonna test them out. I don't know, y'all. Y'all might wanna go pick you up a pair, so. See y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.